Hello all, welcome to Data Skills. In the last video, I was showing the IPL dashboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the dashboard from scratch. Let's get started now. So here you go. This is what I was showing in the last video. Depends on the team selection, these pictures will get updated. All right, so this is how it's working now. So how to create this one from scratch? Let's see this now. This is a 1.0 template. I'll close this template where I have the 1.1 with uh, in the sheet IPL dashboard 2020. Even I select this one, uh, different teams, nothing, no pictures are showing because I'm not inserted any pictures. So how to create that depends on the selection of the team, how to get that pictures I'm going to show you now. Let's look into it. There is a sheet called team pictures. In the team pictures, there are, total eight uh, teams are there. In each team, there are 12 players. You see here, Dhoni, Raidu, Deepak, all the 12 players related to Chennai Super Kings. Similarly, uh, goes to that all that seven remaining teams. Okay, so this pictures also, I have downloaded from the internet and we have inserted in the cells. How to insert, if you want to know, let me delete this uh, Dhoni pic. Like I'll click on this insert, click on the picture, and from my system, I'm inserting this picture, click on that insert, yes, it is inserted. And make sure that uh, this row height and column width are fitting to that picture size. So that like while you're showing here also, it will fit it uh, accordingly. So in simple words, we have the eight teams and eight teams related uh, to will pictures for each of the team. Okay, that's fine. So depends on this picture, or uh, depends on this uh, value here, team name, we need to show the 12 pictures. So the logic here overall is, we are going to create a name ranges. As we require to show 12 pictures, 12 name ranges we are going to create, dynamic name ranges. So after creating that name ranges, that name range will assign it to a picture so that it will show us according to your selection. Let's look into it now. So here yeah, there is a formula called index. Using the index, you can do the picture lookup. So there is a formula called index. Index formula argument is, there are three arguments, array, row number, and column number, array. So array means that entire range. So all our pictures are sitting in the team pictures. So you see this, uh, there is a fun, one name range already created from starting that headers to till down here. You see this, uh, I selected and I created a already name range called all teams underscore picks. So you can create a name range like this. Once you create the name range for, from this, we need to get the data, get the picks according to our requirement, correct? As we as we have the Chennai Super Kings, only Chennai Super Kings related to the 12 pictures it should show. So we are going to create a 12 name ranges now. Check out this, I'll write equal to index, that all all team picks that is our entire range where we have all the pictures including the headers this uh, name range can uh, consist so i selected this comma row number so we required we required let me go back here we required this is the all teams members uh, picks place this is row number one is all the headers the team names correct row number two onwards we have the pictures so if you want that first player name, we need to write the row number two. If you want the second player name, you need to write the row number three in the index formula that uh, row number plays. And uh, depends on the uh, depends on the team. Uh, if it is a Chennai Super Kings, you selected in the team, like uh, it should be column one. If it is a Delhi Capitals, it should be column two and so on, right? So that's what I'm going to write equal to index. Index array means all team picks, I need not to select the, I need not to go to that uh, pictures one, I need not to select that whole range to show that all team picks, I, re I remember a few letters of it, once I write all, it is showing the all team picks, that is my array now, comma, row number, row number two, that first player we required, that is the reason I'm writing the two, because row number one is the headers, comma, this column number, uh, it will vary, it will get changed, depends on the what team you selected. If it is a Chennai Super Kings, it should be column one because in our data set, the Chennai Super Kings is the first column, right? So it, it will be 
keep changes. So I'll write the match formula here. Match lookup value. I'm looking for this value. So once I look into this value, it is actually C3. So it is saying that uh, actually C3 name, we call it as a team underscore name. Some name range we given, right? So one cell only that we given as a team name, comma, lookup array. This team name where you are looking, you are looking in the team pictures, in this headers. Let me select this entire headers. Without fail, press your four, comma zero, bracket close. Just for our verification, you can select this column number. I mean, you can select this entire match formula and press F9 to see the output. The column, uh, the, what are the match formula we written? That is uh, giving the output of one. What are the output it is giving? That is the input to index formula column number. The column number is giving one. In other words, index is the intersection of row and column. So row number two and column number one, wherever they intersect, that value will give us. After pressing F9, without fail, press Control Z. Otherwise, it will be always static number called one. Bracket close for the index. If you say enter here, it is giving the zero. Why? Why it is giving the zero? If you go here, actually row number two in that name range, row number two and column number one is intersecting at this point. In this cell, there is no value at all. Uh, if I write high here, same high it will show us in this place, correct? So let me go back. No, I don't want to see this value. Actually, we want to see the picture lookup. Correct. So what I'm going to do is let it be this picture like this. I'll take a copy of this picture, come back to this place. Any any picture you take a copy, no problem. Not uh, not always Dhoni. You can take any picture, you copy paste it here. Whatever the formula we have written, take a copy of the formula, take a copy, control C. You can delete this formula, whatever you written earlier, you can remove it. Go to uh, go to formulas. In that there is a something called name manager. Click on that name manager. Click on that new. In this new, we are going to work on the picture lookup. So let's give some name to this uh, pick. First pick, first player uh, we require, right? So pick underscore one. I'll give it. Don't give the space. Name manager won't accept the space or any special characters. Tab tab and tab paste that formula. What is the formula we written using the index? Just paste it, click OK. Now this pick one, this is having the index formula. Similarly, just to save our time, I have created the pick 10, pick 11 also. Uh, uh, there are 12 players in each team, right? So all the 12, uh, 12 name ranges are created. I think pick two is missing. So I'll create the another, another name range where I say that pick two instead of I write it here. It will be easy to write it. In the cell, I'll write equal to index one more time. All team specs, whatever I was doing in the earlier example, same thing I'm going to do. Only the changes we record the second player, right? So second player means you see this second player, the try do it is. So if you want to get the try do pick, nothing but in this uh, in the range. So headers are row number one. This is row number two, and this is row number three. So you need to write the number called three here. This is a static number, you need to write three. After that comma, match, lookup value. And that lookup value is a team name, correct? So I'll select the team name, comma, lookup array. Where I'm looking for, I'm looking in this headers. All the teams are sitting in the headers. I'll select that headers. All the headers are selected. After selection, comma zero, bracket close for the match and bracket close for the index. So again, if you if you say enter, nothing is going to happen. It is going to give the same zero, but I, I don't want this. I already taken a copy from the formula bar. I can remove this formula. I can go back to name manager, just like the pick one, we created the name range. You create the first pick two also. You write pick underscore two and tap, tap, tap remove the existing formula and paste this formula click okay now this pick two also created similar similar fashion i created the pick three pick four pick five all the name ranges only the change here is for pick three i written the number call you see this here the number is got changed to four earlier we were writing the three before to that we are writing the two correct so click okay so close now check out this some picture we copy pasted, correct? You, you take any picture. One more time, I'll do it for you. Like uh, I'll go here. You take any picture. Let's take Rohit Sharma. I'll take a copy. 
I'll go back here. I'll paste it here. Simple copy paste control C control V we had done. But when we are seeing that Chennai Super Kings, we don't want to see the Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma is not belongs to Chennai Super Kings. Correct. So it needs to be uh, Chennai Super Kings related first player. Correct. So in that case, what do you do is select that picture, the first picture, you write equal to pick underscore one. Right. Hey, uh, as you're writing the few letters, it is showing all that name ranges. Pick one, pick 10, pick 11, the, uh, these numbers are showing. So we, you can select this pick one, you can click on the tab and enter. Can you see this? Yeah, it is showing the uh, MS Zoni. Let's say if you want to see the second player of the Chennai Super Kings, once I change it to two, enter, you see the drive it is showing and three and four and so on. But let it be one, one, yes, Dhoni is here. Let, let's arrange this. Only one time task it is, uh, this arranging, formatting and all. Let me take a copy of it, paste it here. 12 times you copy paste. Control C, again, Control V. Otherwise, you can also do the Control D as well. Control D also uh, copy paste. So after six times copy pasting the first line, later you can copy paste the below also to show all the seven uh, 12 players. So fine, here is a Dhoni, great. Uh, second picture, we want to see the second player of the Chennai Super Kings. So let me change this one to two here, enter. Yes, it is showing it. And here you change it to three, enter, and four, enter, and so on. Till 12 times you do it. So I'm just done for the this seven players. Now let's verify if I change this to Delhi Capitals, only Delhi Capitals related seven people it is showing here, correct? Like you, you select any of them, Mumbai Indians. Yes, now Rohit Sharma is correct. So this is how it works. Hey, okay, here you go, David Warner. So this is how it works. So hope you understood uh, the way picture lookup works. If you have any questions, feel free to write your comments in the uh, below to this YouTube channel. We'll happy to answer it. And if you like our video, Please uh, subscribe and share this knowledge. Thank you. That's it for today. Catch you in the next uh, video where we'll be explaining you how to deal with the, uh, how to get this all that other data. Okay, this is a picture. This is uh, giving the updated one. All that information we'll be seeing in the uh, next video. Thank you. Thank you all.